Oh, and welcome to 11 Live Midday here at 11. I'm Aisha Howard. And I'm Cheryl Preheim. The votes are in. We've got the official winners of the runoff elections, beginning with a historic night in DeKalb County as voters elected a new CEO. Lorraine Cochran Johnson projected to take that seat. 11 Live's Ariana Manise with our political team joining us now. Ariana, that makes new era really of leadership, and it is, as we mentioned, historic. Yeah, for the first time, DeKalb County will be led by a black woman in a historic mm -hmm. win last night. We saw Lorraine Cochran Johnson defeat her opponent, Larry Johnson, to be the county's next CEO. We spoke to her after her win last night, and she tells us that she's ready to get to work for the county. <laughs> Voters in DeKalb County are welcoming in a new era of leadership. Lorraine Conkren Johnson claimed victory in the race to become the county's next chief executive officer. To be honest, you know, it's been a bit overwhelming. Uh, we've been working so hard because uh, until 7 o'clock tonight, we literally had teams in place, uh, people out there getting folks to the polls. Cochran Johnson held a double digit lead over her opponent, former Commissioner Larry Johnson. We don't stop, we don't Woo! quit. We're going to keep moving and keep doing our thing because we love DeKalb yes, County. Sir. The runoff election results aren't official. Cochran Johnson's projected win marks a new chapter in the county's history, making her the first African-American woman CEO and only the second woman to ever hold the position. I couldn't be more excited. You know, for me, this is uh, a milestone, but it's bigger than me. This is about the people, and I'm happy that they've entrusted me, and I look forward to being the best CEO in the history of DeKalb County. And now with a win under her belt, Conklin Johnson says she's ready to get to work. Some of the biggest issues she wants to prioritize are public safety, economic development, housing, and upgrading the county's infrastructure. Right now in DeKalb County, public safety, economic development, um, and infrastructure remain at the top of my priority list, um, but you know, also housing. So we have a lot of issues. We have to deal with high capacity transit uh, because we've got to move people. Uh, there's a lot to do and I'm looking forward uh, to starting that transition team and getting right to it. Now, since there were no Republican candidates in the race to be DeKalb County's next CEO, once this election is certified, Lorraine Cochran Johnson will be named the county's newest leader at the top of the year. Reporting live from DeKalb County, I'm Mariana Menise for 11 Alive. Back to you.